Hi guys, so today we're looking at a product from Aldi. I think this is the first time I've actually reviewed an Aldi product, so yay! This is the Lacura Detoxifying and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. Now, it says on the website that this is an online exclusive, but I swear I picked this up in store. So it is £5.99, you get 60 grams of product, and what they say is this Lacura Pink Clay Mask is the ideal addition to your beauty routine. The mask is sure to detoxify your skin, leaving you feeling fresh and revitalised. The new formula will leave your skin looking both clearer and brighter. Directions. Using the brush included, apply an even layer to clean dry skin and allow to work for 10 minutes. Rinse with warm water to reveal a brighter and radiant glow. For best results, store at room temperature and use only one to two times a week. So... Detoxifying and brightening, helps dry impurities, refines pores, extracts of exotic Australian cacao plum, witch hazel for a clearer and brighter complexion, cruelty free dermatologically tested. So, good timing because the kind of angry redness in my skin I've settled down with an essence product that I've got a review up on. So now I just need to take care of the acne that's going on. I will say this is kind of my own fault that my skin's breaking out just now. It doesn't want to come out of the box for me. I am trying to kind of like reduce and try to reduce and bring down the amount of makeup I have, right? And I started trying to use up old foundations that have been sitting there. Um, they're not old, old, but you know, just ones that aren't my current go to favourites. And I think one of them has been breaking my skin out, so that's a shame. So we've got this little brush, it kind of looks more like a mini foundation brush and we've got the product here it's not as pink as the box suggested um, but I'm going to zoom you in to see my kind of before skin um, right now so get a bit of an active spot there pores, blackheads just ignore the fact that I'm bad. That one actually burst when I was watching my washing my face. Um, so, yeah. So that's the state my skin's in just now. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about it. Do, do, do. So, it's quite a firm um, consistency. You can see I was putting quite a bit of pressure there. I feel like the brush is a really slow way um, to do this. It smells really fresh which is nice. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah I think I could have done with a brush that was a bit bigger. I mean I guess we're doing around the eye area this size is alright but I mean you can always just use an edge of a bigger brush so this is going to be more time consuming than when I just slap a mask on with my fingers so it will probably be a more even layer though uh, I'm going to make sure that I get that kind of front bit of my nose because I get blackheads all the way down here so those of you that habitually apply masks with a brush do you use one this small? Is this normal? I am quite firmly a smack on my fingers girl. So this to me is kind of weird. Um, that's where we are. So I'm gonna let this sit for the, the full time because my skin's quite bad just now. I'm gonna try and get right up into my hairline because I have got quite a few spots in my hairline. They're very uncomfortable. So, looks like a foundation brush, and we're applying it everywhere we would have foundation. I'm going in the shower after this anyway, so it's going to be really easy to rinse out. I tend to do masks before showers just because it's just super easy to get it all off. Dig it down my neck because, as you can see, got some spots there. I take foundation down my neck because that makes sense. This is not even. Oh, and it was starting to dry in bits as well. Okay. 
Oopsie. Right, so I'm gonna go and rinse, rinse my brush off. Um, give this the full ten minutes. So it is just after seven just now. So I will be back. We'll just see how how dry this goes as well, and then I'll go and rinse off. Okay, so we're at the nine minute mark. Some of you are gonna say it will be more than that. I definitely got uneven. I don't think I am a pro using the brush. It is quite stiff. You've got the little dotty bits where my pores are. I don't really think that's so much them drawing stuff out so much as your pores are full of oil. It won't necessarily stick there the same as the rest of your skin. But um, yeah, I am going to... Because yeah, that's where those big spots were, so it's like not sticking on them either. So I'm going to go jump in the shower, rinse this off. Hopefully this six and will dry down a little bit more. See what I mean? I was not applying this evenly at all. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not used to doing it with a brush. So I'll be back. I'll be able to move my face. Right, I'm back. I can move my face. I can smile at you again. I can let you know that I'm not angry with you because that last clip was kind of weird. Anyway, this was kind of awkward to wash off. I mean, not awkward, but it just went kind of slimy um, when water hit it. And honestly, generally it's like you're rubbing it with your hands and rinsing them, rubbing your hands when... I, I ended up giving up and dunking my head under the shower to make sure I'd got all of it. My skin doesn't feel silky smooth like it has with some other masks. Um, this doesn't say it's going to give any kind of exfoliating properties. I don't think the other ones have that I've had a nice soft feeling with. My skin actually feels kind of rough. Um, so that's not as appealing. But let's see how the pores and things are doing because that's what it does advertise. Hickey hickey. Okay, so they do look that bit better. Oh, that spot has, is looking quite good. Yeah, these are all looking kind of subdued, as it were. So I'm going to wait and see how it looks in the morning, just so that I know whether it's like a really temporary effect or not. So I'll be back with some final thoughts. Right, we're back it's the next day. So this guy, I feel like this guy has went like right down. It's much flatter, it's not sore. Um, yesterday this was quite inflamed. It was painful, it was sticking out from my skin. It was very crusty on top. Same for this guy beside it, it's still a little bit crusty. But it's nowhere near as bad. So in terms of the effects on my skin, ooh, I like this. Um, I've also had a quick look at, I know I'd mentioned earlier that it's an online exclusive, it's $5.99. Forgot to go and look at the postage, I've now looked, postage is $2.95, meaning you'd be paying $8.94 all in, which I don't think is that bad. And I mean, when you look at how much I've used, I think I'm going to get close to 10 uses out of this, maybe. So, 80 pence a use. I think that is very, very reasonable. So even having to pay for postage, this is such good value for money. You get free postage if you spend over £30, so if you need anything else, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is firmly, 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 firmly in the good buy category. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.